Hello students. I hope you all are fine and healthy. Today we are going to go through this topic which is a geography topic latitudes, longitudes and the heat zones of the world. This module includes interesting animation along with the explanation of chapters and to mention it loud it also has a quiz at the end of the module. Now this quiz which we are going to have at the end of the module will decide whether you fall into the category of smart kids or a genius. So are you ready? So to start with I'm going to show you a picture and you have to tell me what the picture is about. Yes. What picture is this? You're correct. It is a globe. A globe is a spherical model of the earth. A small model of the earth. It has some lines if you see the detailings on it. The standing lines and the sleeping lines or horizontal lines or vertical lines. Now, what are these horizontal or vertical lines called? They are called latitudes and longitudes. The horizontal lines are called latitudes and the vertical lines are called longitudes and they are used to locate places which we'll study in the next session. Now look at this figure. Here you will see a reference line that is the equator. This equator, a horizontal line, divides the earth into northern and southern hemisphere or you can say the upper half and the lower half. Now there are many such horizontal lines on it. Now look at this figure. This is also a reference line for the other vertical lines. It is known as prime meridian. It divides the earth into eastern and western hemisphere. Latitudes and longitudes. Can you see the grid on the globe? Now, along with the equator, the other parallel lines on the globe, which are imaginary lines, are called parallels of latitude. And along with the prime meridian, the other vertical lines on the globe, which are imaginary lines, are called meridians of longitude. The parallels never intersect, but the longitudes intersect on the northern and southern poles. And they together form a grid on the earth. Now, this grid helps us to locate the places and these lines are given numbers which are numbered in degrees. Can you see that? Now, look at the latitudes or the horizontal lines. You will see that in the northern hemisphere, because the equator divides the earth into north and south, in the northern hemisphere, the lines are denoted with N, which means north. And in the southern hemisphere, they are denoted with S, which means south. With reference to the prime meridian, if you see, the earth is divided into west and east. And therefore, the lines are denoted with W, which means west and E, which means east or eastern hemisphere. Now, these are some of the important parallels which we need to learn. 
starting with the equator. At 0 degree, the Tropic of Cancer at 23.5 degree north, Arctic Circle 66.5 degree north, North Pole 90 degree, in the Southern Hemisphere Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle 66.5 degree south, South Pole 90 degree south. Now here you will see that the earth receives sunlight from the sun but the area which it is striking on the earth is not the same. The places near the equator receive direct sun rays and they cover smaller areas and therefore the heat is maximum. But as we go towards the pole the sun rays become slanting, they cover more area and therefore the heat received is less. On the basis of this, the earth is divided into heat zones. The earth is bulging at the equator. And the equator is the largest circumference of the earth. Now, as I told you before, that all places do not receive equal amount of heat from the sun. The equator receives direct sun rays from the sun, wherein the poles receive slanted rays. Can you see that? So, on the basis of this, the earth is divided into heat zones. The earth can be divided into three heat zones. The first one, on the basis of the sun rays it receives, is the torrid zone. Or, you can say the tropical zone also. Now, the torrid zone, then the temperate zone and then the third one is the frigid zone. Now let us go through the position and the climate of these zones. First one, the torrid zone. The torrid zone extends or lies between the equator and the tropics. Can you see that? Now, from the equator to the Tropic of Cancer in the Northern Hemisphere and from the equator to the Tropic of Capricorn in the Southern Hemisphere. The torrid zone lies between 0 to 23 and a half degree in each hemisphere. The temperature in this region is quite high. That is the meaning of the word torrid, which means intensely hot. This place also experiences high rainfall, high humidity, high temperature and equatorial climate, which we will study in the next session. In detail. Now the temperate zone. The temperate zone receives slanted rays compared to the equatorial zone or the torrid zone. So therefore it is neither very hot nor very cold throughout the year. It experiences seasons. The north temperate zone lies in the area between Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle and the South Temperate Zone between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle. The Temperate Zone has moderate or temperate climate and it experiences maximum seasonal changes.
Now we go to the frigid zone. The frigid zones are the coldest zones on the earth. That is what is the meaning of the word frigid, very cold. The north frigid zone lies from the Arctic Circle to the North Pole and the south frigid zone from the Antarctic Circle to the South Pole. The frigid zones receive extremely slanted rays of the sun and therefore it receives very little sunlight and warmth of the sun. The ground here is largely frozen most of the time and is known as permafrost. What does that mean? It means permanently frozen ground. Thus, the heat zones are located on the globe as Now let us read them in degrees. Equator Torrid zone from 23.5 degree north to 0 degree to 23.5 degree south. Temperate zone from 23.5 degree north to 66.5 degree north and the south temperate zone 23.5 degree south to 66.5 degree south. The frigid zone, the north frigid zone from 66 and a half degree north to the north pole and south frigid zone from 66 and a half degree south to the south pole. Now the quiz time. In this quiz you are going to get 10 questions in total. Four questions are multiple choice questions and six of them are statements where you have to mention whether they are true or false at the end of the quiz you will get a score card first which of the following is or are the heat zone or zones of the earth torrent zone temperate zone frigid zone or all of the above. Which is the coldest heat zone on the earth? Torrid zone, frigid zone, temperate zone or none of these? And I want you to pen down your answers so that you can check them at the end of the quiz. Third, which of the following heat zone receives maximum insulation? Torrid zone, temperate zone, frigid zone or all of these? Insulation means sun rays or sunlight. Fourth, distribution of temperature is uniform on the earth's surface. State whether the statement is true or false? Is the temperature same on the sur earth's surface? Now true or false? First, only the torrid zone gets direct sun rays from the sun. Seasonal changes are felt most in the temperate zones. The temperate zones are neither very hot nor very cold. The longitudes divide the earth into heat zones. The south temperate zone lies to the south of the Antarctic Circle. Seasonal changes are felt least in the torrid zone. Now let's check the answers. Which of the following are the heat zones of the earth? All of the above is the correct answer. Which is the coldest heat zone on the earth? The frigid zone is the correct answer. Which of the following heat zone receives maximum sun rays or insulation? Torrid zone is the correct answer. Distribution of temperature is uniform on the earth's surface. 
is a false statement. Now true or false? Only the torrid zone gets direct sun rays from the sun, true. Seasonal changes are felt in the temperate zone, true. The temperate zones are neither very hot nor very cold, true. The meridians divide the earth into heat zones, false. The latitudes divide them. The south temperate zone lies to the south of the Antarctic Circle, again false. It is to the north of the Antarctic Circle. Seasonal changes are felt least in the torrid zone, true. Now, just count and calculate your marks and we are going to go through the scorecard. And in the scorecard you will see that you have to categorize yourself in these categories. 2 to 3, you can do better. 4 to 6, you are smart. 7 to 10, you are a genius. Less than 2, no problem. Watch the video and try again later.